Slowed. I'm not okay with leaving my socks on. Like, I'm fidgeting. My feet are warm. <laughs> like, I can feel my feet getting warmer. <laughs> Have you got socks on specifically? Because your fucking fiance has made me question myself. I don't wear slippers. I don't wear socks inside because I feel constrained. I've worn them all day because now I'm like, I have ugly feet that I play with. What's going on, internet? How's it going? I'm Dan Loader, aka Slody, and this is, uh, I mean, he's got webbed toes, but he's okay. This is Dan Howells. AKA Dover. And this is the 2D show. I, it throws me off guard when you open the intros. That felt so unnatural. You, but I fucking needed to do that. Because you quote me. You're like, yeah. I'm Dan Howells. Because you're right. We have, like, mentally got scripts. Would you believe none of this is actually written down? Uh, so, Wednesday. And that is my topic. So, today, Dove, don't mean this in a mean way, but I want you to tell me why you like rap music. Not defending, because I'm not, like, attacking you. I'm not saying, like, how can you like rap? It is shit. I don't personally like rap. I, could, I just want to understand what you like about it. Even though we're, like, similar in, like, quite a lot of ways. I can't take these off. I'm sorry. Slow I'm not okay. Oh, fucking fuck you, Jenny. Webbing up. It's so much better. It's so much more free. I'm glad you. I'm, but I'm saying with fucking Converse on. Like I'm. You wear shoes in my house. Do you want some 2D like dedicated slippers? I'm okay. These are like because I wear these shoes every day. They're like the same pair of shoes I wear every day. They have become like an extension of my foot. I forget that I've got them on because they just have molded so well. So rap music. We do have very different music tastes. We didn't used to. No, we didn't. My music tastes have definitely changed. I mean, I've always liked rap. Always listened to Eminem and stuff. Fort Minor and Limp Bizkit and stuff. And the crossover Linkin Park Jay Z. So album. good. That like what got you into it, would you say? Like that sort of When I was a kid, specifically used to listen to Eminem as a child. I can remember right, okay. listening to Eminem. Like Will Smith albums I used to have and stuff as well. I think Will Smith is an underrated rapper. He's telling like children's stories. PG music. Rap and hip hop kinda of get thrown into like one bracket. But they're not yes. really like rap is the way I describe it in my head is hip hop is more of a culture. Hip hop has rap in it. But hip hop is like sitting on on street corners with a boombox, like old school 80s sort of like that feeling, that like feel good vibe. I feel like a lot of hip hop is specifically like reminiscing. It's more, it's like rap's mm. nostalgia. If that makes any yeah. sense. And then I think like when you got to like the 90s, when you got like East Coast, West Coast, Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Biggie, Dre, NWA, that's when it's sort of becoming gangster rap. And then we've lost the gangster bit. And we just sort of refine it as a, as a culture, as a people. I think it's come to the point now where like the instrumentation behind it hasn't changed that much, I don't think. No. Uh, hip hop came around because of sampling and, and it gave people a, a completely different, they could make their own instrument essentially. Yes, that's not specifically why I like it. I don't ever listen to a song where it's like, I really like what the instruments are doing. I might be like, this song sounds awesome, what everything is doing is awesome, but I couldn't listen to a song and be like, second layer of synth that's doing the bass layer is fucking on point. Like I couldn't, I couldn't do that like is it rap as a genre or is it rap as like a no because there's some fucking awful rap songs out there like there's some shit and i also don't like now just like this new sort of i don't like grime but like i don't like this new sort of like trap sort of feel to it like i don't have you heard bad and bougie by the migos no that is like a culmination of everything i don't really like in music lyrically so weak and you listen to it and you're like don't really understand like this song and i don't understand why it gets so much praise i like listening to a song and being like right this guy here is rhyming the last words right rhyming couple so one and four rhyme and two and three rhyme but then in the middle of all that one and three rhyme with like the, the vowel sounds on like the third word and then two and four rhyme like i like that you can be very intricate it's penmanship more than anything i guess i like i also like fucking with uh sort of stereotypes i don't feel like that's done in any of the sort of music i was telling you the other day about tech nine uh, tech nine has a song called bitch with t-pain and you listen to it and it's just a fucking straight up like thug gangster song and then you're like oh wait no the word bitch is abbreviation standing for breaking into colored houses and the whole point is tech nine has been predominantly viewed by, by white public uh, because he used to paint his face uh, like a clown and of course then people associated him with Insane Clown Posse and other white rappers like that got like pigeonholed as this like whack sort of almost a sellout being like yeah. you're just doing this because you want to appeal to the biggest demographic which are white people he, he got a lot of like flack for that but you listen to this song and the whole song while poised as this like black thug song is like 
you never fucking liked me, so I'm gonna break into your fucking house and make you like me. But the whole, none of the, the words don't say that, you have to look at the subtext. And I don't think there's any rock and roll song where like the subtext is the real story. It's a lot more rap goes close to the bone than like other genres. But I also feel like 90% of a, of a rapper's Hillary or album or whatever, it's just him flossing, being like, I'm the fucking best, fuck you. And I also like that sort of like competitive nature. It's almost like boxing. You don't get rock, rock and roll songs or folk songs where you are straight out insulting someone to see what their response is. You don't so, get battle guitar solo. What you're saying is rap is all about the meta. Yes. Some of my favorite Eminem songs are from the Eminem show. Uh, it's my dad's gone crazy and Haley song. They're not overly technical. They're not lyrically special. It's literally him singing to his fucking kid. And it's like, that means something. You don't really get that. Love songs in rock and roll are just typically generic songs. Pop songs are very generic as well. But like, it's almost like an open letter to his kid. And I like that that is fucking just time stamped. Like that is when she was eight years old. She's on the out, she's on the track. And it's just like, no matter what else happens, I feel like rap, the rap game, if you will, has a lot more at stake all the fucking time. That's why I like the culture of, of hip hop and rap. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think it feels real. Yeah, which it has to because it's that's one the of, point. I think there's a pressure with every, every song is to make it sound like a song. But I mean, like you can you can have your general message, but like yeah, I want to write a song about this. But then you have to like kind of weave your way into writing a song about this. Was it feel like with rap that isn't so much of an issue? Like if you want to rap about something, you just fucking stand there and rap about it. You just like fucking say what you want to say. So there's a song by Tech Nine called Sriracha. Basically, it's just like, it's just like a look how fucking dope I am. Tech Nine and then three other like guest verses. That's what Tech Nine does. The last verse on that song, it's just a standard four four like rap song. And this guy does like triplets over it, and then like he like really fucks up his flow. I don't know how he does it. The chopper is the term for it. People who spit fast, uh, Twister, Buster Rhymes, Tech Nine, Tone Deaf, uh, these people who breathe less and say more. He's a chopper because it's like, like yeah. they're fucking going fast. So like, like the guy from um, Storage Hunters. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon he's actually saying words? No. He's going like, hard going one, 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 uh, 250 sold. So why don't you like rap, dude? I would say I don't like it. Oh, rap know. is, for me, more of an instrument than it is a genre on its own. Yeah, I think rapping is a vocal technique, in my eyes. Can sit well with certain things, but I find in modern day music, like rap tends to like permeate a lot of other genres. So like, you'll Everything's have like, you'll have straight up pop moment. songs where like there'll be like a guest rap verse or a guest like the bridge will be a rap. You can tell it's just been done for the sake of it. We we're saying the word rap. I don't really enjoy pop rap. Point is like Lil Wayne is so up his own ass, it's similar to Kanye now, where it's like Lil Wayne doesn't write shit down and neither does Jay Z anymore, which is why Jay Z isn't as good. They've taken the craftsmanship out of rap. They just sit there, fucking think for 20 minutes, listen to the instrumental a couple of times, like, fuck it, I got it. And you listen to a Jay-Z verse from 15 years ago, you listen to Jay-Z now, the term is hungry, right? Starve an artist, yearning for this fucking fame and the success, and that makes you better. You have to keep driving something, you have to have a goalpost. Mm. So, like, when people... I mean, Make it, it's kind of like, oh, well, there's no pressure now. That, and, like, they get too big for the bridges. I mean, look at Kanye. Like, Kanye is fucking... Either Kanye is cleverest fucking marketing tool ever, but if you listen to Life of Pablo, the best verse in Life of Pablo is not from Kanye, it's from Chance. I think that's because Chance is one of these, like, background rappers who was probably like oh shit i'm gonna feature on Kanye. this has to be fucking good he flipped a kanye verse basically wrote a rap verse about kanye west rap verse using metaphors from one of kanye west rap and it's like this is clever as fuck and i like that you have to listen to a rap song a couple of times to get it. like you could listen to sweet child of mine one time and you're like i get it i get sweet child yeah. of mine if you listen to a tone deaf song or tech nine song you listen to it and you're like that was okay and then it comes on again or fucking watsky verse and you're like okay oh fuck i you mentioned Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, that's a that's I think a pun. You'll, you'll listen to the song as a whole, and then you'll go back and listen to what they said. You unpack it. Mean. Yeah. This man's fucking clever, and it's a little bit more I find than people say like writing poetry is rap, and I don't think it is because I don't think poetry has like the the soul of rap. Where mm. it's like I need to do this. This is my craft. We're Over not eloquent it. enough to explain our likes and dislikes about music. I don't I know. I just fucking like it. Fight me. <laughs> you fucking wanker! But thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Show. I'm Dan Howells. That's Dan Loader. Remember, we can out three times a week, every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday, bringing you a little topic of conversation. Remember, if you want to get your topic on the show, you can email us. Topics at 2dshow.com Or you can tweet us at 2dshow using that hashtag. Chew, Chew it out. out. You can like us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash 2dshow. <laughs>
Uh, did you did you just like glitch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? You can also <laughs> like, share, subscribe to our YouTube and help our videos grow because uh, every time you like or do something, it just helps the message get sent out there, which helps more people find the show. You don't think it helps hitting that little like button or liking a Facebook comment, but guys, honestly, this fucking algorithm shit and like it shows people what they want to see, and apparently what they want to see is what everything else has already seen. They want to see Beyonce. We're gonna tag Beyonce in this fucking. What video. do we want? Beyonce. When do we want it? Now. No. Get us to the top. We want to be bigger than Beyonce. <laughs> Remember to use that hashtag to it out. Stay running the world, and we will see you next Friday. Hashtag to it out. Hashtag bigger than Beyonce.